close your eyes, watch your breath. Get the mind in a good mood. To think about the fact that today is the last day of the rains that ended at dawn this morning. Now the monks will be free to go various places. But there are some things about the rains you want, may want to carry over. Usually when we go under the rains, we make special vows to accelerate our practice, accelerate our study. And we've had three months to live with that accelerated practice and study. And you have a chance to look it over. How have you benefited from it, particularly from the practice, the, your precepts, your practice of meditation? If it's good, then continue with it. You've had three months to test it. It's not a, the case that there's special merit that comes from doing things during the rains and not so much merit from doing after the rains. It's all good. It does, as the Buddha said, his teachings are timeless, akaliko. So there shouldn't be that much difference between our practice during the rains and outside of the rains. And whatever good you've picked up from the, the rains, whatever momentum you have, will keep it going. That's one of the purposes of giving you a three-month test. So you look forward to the next few months and you can say, okay, this needs to continue or maybe accelerate things even more. Because death can come at any time. That too is agalico. So you have to be prepared all the time, whether it's in during the rains or outside of the rains. Make sure that your practice is, as John Munn used to say, in the shape of a circle. You don't allow any lapses. You don't allow any holes in the fence around your house. Keep it going as much as you can, because it's when the fence around your house is complete, that's when it gives real protection. If it has some boards missing or if it has some big gaps, it's just there for show. But it doesn't provide the protection that you want. So make it in the shape of a circle all year round. That's how the practice progresses.